Lydia on behalf of the Croatian Project, who are major sponsors of meeting G2 number six for 2020. This year, there have been many advocates for the event, such as Stipe Miocic, Ivan Rakitic, just to name a few. With me today, I have a very renowned businessman from Queensland, Australia. I have Adrian Pulic, who is the Director and CEO of Gem Life, General Manager of Living Gems, and Chairman of Gold Coast Nights. Adrian, how are you? Hi, Lydia. Thanks very much for having me on the program. I'm fine, thanks. Now, as you know, Meeting G2 has been around for some six years now, and it collates Croatians from all around the world where people share their stories on business, some people looking at investing in businesses. But what we're here to do today is to speak with you about, I guess, some of the challenges people can face in business, putting a little bit of a highlight on what has been happening this year in 2020 with the worldwide pandemic of COVID. So perhaps I might ask you firstly, given what has happened with COVID, how have you, as, as well, you're wearing three, four hats at the moment, just in business. How have you managed and survived during these crazy times? Yeah, Lydia, obviously 2020 has been a very interesting time um, for, for many, I guess, Croatians and, and Australians alike. Uh, here in Australia, we've been pretty fortunate. I think response as, as a government, as a collective, has been pretty strong. From a business sense, um, it's it's been an interesting one for us. You know, we we are both uh, in the construction industry, but also we are in the industry of providing seniors housing. So, seniors housing obviously opens up a lot more other issues for for COVID responses, being the probably the most susceptible to catching COVID that demographic. So, for Gem Life and Living Gems, we've been extremely focused on ensuring that uh, our COVID practices and our COVID safe plans deal with um, welfare and the health and well-being of our residents, but also ensuring that the staff that work for us and the people that we employ continue to be gainfully employed and, 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 and putting uh, bread on the table for their families. Absolutely. And, and something I should have said actually to the viewers, um, Gem Life and Living Gems is you, you provide retirement services, retirement homes rather. Yeah, correct. So uh, between both companies, there's about 8,000 homes um, within the portfolio. Um, so the businesses span both uh, Queensland, Victoria and New South Wales at this point in time. Um, so we provide seniors housing for over 50s in those three states. Um, and we have various, uh, various communities under development and occupation at the moment. Um, so the challenges at each of our locations have been I guess, relevant to the stage of, 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 of their development. Um, so dealing with, as I said, seniors living in these communities, as well as making sure people that are employed continue to be employed. Um, and, and, and we work together to, to get through this problem together. Well, during this time, one of the biggest focus has been on the elderly people and, and venues such as yourselves with the retirement homes. Um, so obviously, you've managed to pull through that. Um, how are some ways that you've managed to say, sustain your business? Look, I think in everything, communication is key. So making sure that you're talking to both your contractors, your suppliers, but also your residents within these communities to let them know of what is going on. I don't think anyone is, is, is unaware of, of the gravity that, that is COVID. But at the same time, we all have to be realistic. Um, we all still have families to support and businesses to support and residents to support. Um, so by, by maintaining communication and, and, and providing COVID safe standards across our communities, um, I think has been fundamental to our success in ensuring that none of our communities across our portfolio of, of, of communities um, have, have succumbed to, to the COVID virus. So besides having additional communication, which absolutely is key and vital in any relationship, be it business or personal, has your business changed any of its ways? Yeah, for sure. Look, obviously the interaction that we have, I guess, um, you know, some, some of those meaningless meetings that, that you would obviously uh, have face to face that you can do online to become more efficient. You know, the workplace as well for, for the white collar staff has become a lot more efficient. 
Um, we've been forced to adopt um, a lot more digital practices in the construction space. So our construction crews are, are very much a digital based construction business now. Um, so, so becoming more efficient um, by way of uh, advancing our, I guess, our, our IP um, in the technological space has probably been critical to ensuring that COVID hasn't delayed um, our, I guess, delivery of, of homes and facilities and the things that we do. Um, so coming back to it, a, a key driver of that has been communication. You know, I think one thing that we have said all along is if, if we maintain good communication and good COVID safe practices, um, very little can go wrong. Um, and, and that's proven to be the case with our business. How did the development side go online? Yeah, look, it's, um, it's, it's an interesting one. Obviously, we've been exploring for a number of years now um, due to the amount of homes that we build in a given year, um, ways in which we can streamline our processes to, to meet the demands that, that we face uh, across our different communities. But um, moving towards the digital space wholeheartedly whilst, whilst maintaining a limited amount of personnel on the ground um, has, has proved somewhat challenging, but at the same time, highly rewarding. Um, so in the last couple of months, we've, I guess, mastered the whole concept of, of you know, delivering a house from head office, so to speak. Um, so we're, wherever we build in Australia, we're, we're very much on top, on top of um, product delivery and, and I guess quality as well. So it's not just delivering a house and making sure that the materials get there on time, but it's also making sure that what we build is built to a standard that is acceptable by us and our customers which obviously is a very high standard. You wouldn't be um, so successful in business if it wasn't of such a high standard. So it's interesting to know that you were still able to deliver homes during COVID. Was that only in Queensland? Because Queensland's been quite safe. Or was that throughout the other states, Melbourne and Victoria? Yeah, yeah throughout the other states as well. And interestingly enough, we have a uh, project in uh, Wood End in Victoria, in the, uh, in the, in the Macedon Ranges, just to the north of the Melbourne CBD. Um, and uh, that, that's obviously classed as a regional part of Victoria um, and, and that particular community probably uh, experienced large growth during, during the COVID uh, lockdown. Obviously, a lot of people in that inner, inner city metropolitan area were looking to make the move for lifestyle reasons whilst COVID was around. Um, so for us to go and meet those demands um, was largely attributed to the, the personnel that we had on the ground, but also the digital support and the, 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 the support that we were having back from head office. So you said there was a demand. Is this because of the growth of COVID? Look, we're more of a lifestyle community provider for the over 50s. Mm -hmm. So for us, it was an interesting catalyst that, that COVID brought along with it. And that was, you know, we had the, the old uh, mum and dad sitting at home, not being able to travel, not being able to caravan around Australia, not being able to see the grandkids, being um, holed up in their homes and saying, well, maybe now's the time to consider a lifestyle move. Um, so we really um, uh, saw that as an opportunity to advertise during the COVID period. So whilst others were, I guess, reducing their marketing exposure, um, we took the opportunity to increase it um, and, and make sure that we could really hit the digital platforms that's fantastic. You've got such a positive outlook and I'm so glad that as a business or your multiple businesses, you were able to sustain them and keep going during COVID and that was simply by changing your way you were doing things and adapting to the current climate. So that's Gem Life and Living Gems. What about your Gold Coast um, Nights Club? How did that go during COVID? Yeah, so look, obviously Gold Coast Knights um, are in the state leagues of the NPL, which is the top state leagues uh, football competition in Queensland. Uh, fortunately enough, uh, the, the Football Queensland National Premier League managed to play its full season. Our, our last game of the regular season was last, uh, last Saturday night. Um, the Gold Coast Knights finished third on the ladder um, and we now head into finals football this, this coming Sunday um, to, to, to defend our uh, championship. Uh, that we won last year, um, and and look, it's it's been an interesting one. Uh, we 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 we're proud to say that as a club, we never reduced players' wages, we never reduced coaching wages. Um, we wanted to make sure that our Croatian community could support a team, um, which was supported by by its by the soccer club, and 
Um, we're, we're very proud of what we managed to, to do and achieve. And we provided a little bit of hope and, and inspiration to our own Croatian community. You know, it has been tough for many people um, uh, Australia-wide and particularly on the Gold Coast. Um, so so to, to be able to deliver some uh, success on the football field uh, has been rewarding in itself. I'm so pleased to hear that you mentioned that wages weren't reduced. I mean, it's such a touchy subject and in some instances people had to, but to see that you had that in your forefront, I mean, that's absolutely wonderful and that you were able to do that. So big congratulations on that because so many people suffered you know, in many ways and also financially during this, despite the government being very kind to us, but in sometimes it wasn't quite as much as um, people were able to earn. So that's wonderful. And I'm so glad as well that you mentioned about the Croatian spirits and your concern for the Croatian community. The Pulic family are very, very well regarded within Australia and around the world. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for all that you and your family do for the whole Croatian community. You really help in maintaining it and, and carrying it with pride and dignity. And also congratulations to your business that you have as well. Yeah, look, thank you very much, Lydia. Very kind of you, very kind words. Um, and to all your viewers and listeners um, tuning into the program, I wish them well, obviously heading into the Christmas uh, period. Uh, and, I, and I hope that everyone um, across all the states that have been affected by COVID uh, manage to bounce back strongly and, and uh, head into Christmas with, with, some, uh, with, with some confidence and knowledge that the year ahead should be bigger and better. That's amazing. And do you have any advice, finally, for anyone watching and that may be going through some tough times at the moment in business? Yeah, look, I think the, the biggest thing that uh, one can say to, to another fellow Croatian is to continue to persevere. Um, we're all in this together. It is unprecedented what is going on. No one has lived through such a crisis, um, but together we can help one another. Um, we, we can help one another by ensuring that we are there for each other. You know, businesses come and go, but friendships and love for one another doesn't. Um, and it's important that we continue to defend and, and, and help where we can and um, where the community can assist it should. Um, and where we uh, can be good, uh, good and kind people, we should continue to do so as well.